What's going on guys, man? So today we're at one of the most old school gyms ever. Um, it's in Casey, South Carolina. It's called Jungle Gym. Uh, I'll try to show you guys the sign real quick. But yeah, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna get in a chest and an arm session. Um, a lot of cool pieces in here. Um, some that I've never seen before and some that hopefully uh, you guys have never seen before. Just, just some cool stuff, man. Nice old school stuff. So let's get it. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little walkthrough of um, the layout of the gym and then like some of the pieces and then we'll get into that work all right so when you walk in there's like this whole machine section up here and then there's another side of it over here uh, we'll go down through this side first um, so they got a really cool um, trotter it's a lying leg curl trotter doesn't even make equipment anymore it's just a real old school piece and then we got a seated leg press right here by this is an older version of life fitness they make a new version of this now uh, and then we come over here, got a little crunch machine. I don't really be doing abs, so. And then you got the assisted pull up, assisted dip machine right there. Then you got your leg raise set up. And then over here, you got another uh, trotter piece. This is actually an abdominal machine. Um, so just another crunch piece that you can use. Then they got some, uh, some of the older steel VTX dumbbells and then just some rubber hex dumbbells. And then a little cable crossover set up here. Uh, this is a really, really old school one, man. You got the fixed low pulley and then the fixed high pulley. And then you also got the wide grip pull up up in the middle as well. And then over here, you got your other side of it with the high fixed pulley, low fixed pulley. And then you got a lat pull that's attached to it as well right there. Then we'll keep moving over here, man. You got a multi-hip right here. And then you got a little ab bench right here. And then on this side over here, Got some super cool pieces, man. Um, right here, we got a plate-loaded leg extension. And then right beside it, we got a plate-loaded uh, single-leg hamstring curl. Both of these pieces are made by Cybex. They're pretty cool, especially this single-leg um, hamstring curl right here. Then you got a nebula calf raise. Pretty awesome. And then one of my favorite pieces, man, we're going to use this a little bit later. But it is the Strive Incline Bench. Um, so... This is gonna look really familiar to a lot of people. Um, it's the same technology that Prime uses now. So I'm not really sure if Prime bought this company or not, but it's pretty much the exact same, man. This is one of the best pieces that you'll ever use um, as far as any type of chest press goes. Um, and then they got a free motion cable over here. It's pretty sick. And then this right here is also a really cool machine. Um, it's a converging shoulder press machine. It's made by Cybex, really cool. So as you press, those handles come up and together and then they go back apart and down. So up together, back apart and down. It's a really cool machine. Um, and then you got the Strive, another Strive piece here is the tricep extension. Um, so you'll see it's got that same uh, load range or target loading that Prime has. So again, not really sure how that worked out with those two companies, but and then you got a lat pull low row combination, but it's actually a dedicated low row here. <clears throat> and then a dedicated lat pull down right there. And then now we got a pin select preacher curl right here by Strive. Pretty awesome piece. All right, now we're walking through the cardio section. We don't need none of that. I don't need none of that right now. There's Rach. What up, Rach? Hey, guys. All right, now we're going downstairs into the most amazing little sanctuary you'll ever see. I mean, it's just dope down in here, man. All right, so we're going to start off over here to my left. Uh, we got a leg extension right here, got a little squat machine right here, a uh, prone leg curl over there, nice little old school power rack right here, and then you got the old school nebula leg press right here, the diamond plated right there, and then we got a homemade platform, then you got your little monolith rack over here, and then one of the most vintage little low row combos ever right here man, sick little piece, and then we're coming over here to the dumbbell pit. You got your old school dumbbells all the way up to 150s right here. And then we got our utility bench, adjustable bench, decline bench right here. Got two standalone benches right there. Smith machines right here. Incline benches over here. 
Then they got another cable crossover with some pretty cool pull-up stuff right there. And then, this is a really cool bench right here for, really helps out with skull crushers um, because it's got a little spot to rack the bar right behind your head. So, you know, um, you don't have to try to do that super curl or super sit up to get back upright. You know, and then this is a really cool piece they got as well. Um, it's a dual dip machine. So you got, you got the parallel handles right here on this side. And then on this side, you got the angled handles. All right, and then moving on, we got a preacher curl setup right here. Then we got a cable preacher curl. It's a really cool piece right here, man. We actually gonna get this, get it in on this guy as well. Really cool. Then we got a row machine. We got this old school shoulder press machine, man, that actually, the seat articulates. So, if you can see that seat spins like that. So, you can either face in with the handles in front of you, or you can face out with the handles behind you and really get it in right there. Then you got another lap pull down right there. Cool little chest, chest flop piece right there. Another lap pull down right there. It's like a little shrug machine. Then you got a T-bar row right here. And that's about it, man. So as you guys can tell, man, super old school in here. So if you know me, man, you know I love old school machines and just an old school vibe in general. So now that we kind of did like a little walkthrough, man, hopefully you guys got to see some cool pieces. I'm um, gonna try to knock out some chests and some arms. So let's get it. nice and lubricated man blood starts flowing um, and I'm getting my chest activated um, so we're gonna pop this pop the session off man working wise with uh, Smith machine incline bench
So we just finished up Smith Machine Incline Bench. Uh, we ended up doing five working sets right there. First set was 12 reps, second set was 10 reps, third set was eight reps. And then the fourth set, we did a drop set with 185, um, just until failure. And then the, that last and fifth set was another drop set of 135 all the way until failure. And then even those last few reps, you saw me just pulsing. Um, so those two drop sets, man, you wanna really, really, really be conscious of the stretch and the squeeze um, on the incline bench right in the upper chest of that shelf. Um, so I like to set the bench to where that bar is hitting right in between the middle of, in the middle of my collarbone and my nipple. That's where I find the best upper chest activation with the Smith machine. And it's just another great tool because that bar can only move in that one static line. So once you get it locked in and you get that right feel that you want in your chest, then it's gonna be money every single time. Now we're moving on to the flat dumbbell bench. Uh, we're gonna hit four working sets right here. First two sets will be 10 reps. Then the next two sets will be eight reps a pop. Let's get it. Can't wait. So that wraps up flat dumbbells. Uh, we did four working sets, uh, two sets of 10, and then two sets of eight. Um, and if you notice, man, I like to touch the dumbbells at the top. I think that extra adduction is just, um, it's just nice, man, for me. It's a really good feel in my chest. It just allows me to kind of put the stamp of approval on it and know that, you know, not only did I get a good stretch at the bottom, but then I went ahead and capped it off and I know I locked out the rep as well as uh, just a little bit extra emphasis on squeezing my chest because that's what that adduction does at the top, man. Um, so now we're gonna move on. Uh, we're going up to use one of my favorite pieces, man. It's the Strive Incline Bench Press Machine. Um, and it has the target loading technology that you see a lot of the uh, modern stuff, the modern prime fitness stuff has. A uh, really great machine. Um, let's go get it in. All right guys, so we just finished up with incline bench on the Strive um, incline machine. Uh, ended up going five sets of 12 right there. It just feels perfect. Um, plus with the technology that they have on that machine, you're able to overload the end range, the beginning range or the middle of the actual press. Um, so I like to overload that end and just really concentrate on that mad squeeze at the top. Um, so now we're getting ready to move on to some high to low cable flies. 
just to polish off chest and then we'll hit some arms. finish up with chest flash, high to low. Uh, we did three sets, 15 reps of pop. Um, now we're gonna move on to the arm portion of the workout. We're gonna pop everything off with a super set of uh, preacher curls and dips. We're gonna go 10 and 10, so let's work. So we just finished up preacher curls, superset it with dips. Uh, we went three sets of 10 and 10. Um, so now we're moving up here. Uh, we're gonna use this drive preacher curl machine right here. We're gonna go single arm with it. And we're gonna go 15 reps per arm uh, for two sets. All right, so we just wrapped up single arm preacher curls right here. We did two sets, 15 reps um, per arm, and just really, really focusing on that squeeze at the top. Um, even sometimes held it for like two counts. But um, now we're gonna move on to tricep extensions with another strive piece over here. Um, we're gonna do the same thing, two sets of 15 reps, and then that'll cap off the session. So let's finish it. So that wraps up this session, man. Uh, we just finished up with two sets of 15 on this drive tricep extension machine. Um, something that's really cool about this machine, other than you know the plate loaded technology over here that allows you to overload each range of the of the movement, but on this piece right here, it also has this back support that's really cool. Um, so you can leverage off of that along with these pieces down here that you put your feet behind. So at that point, you can create force off of this along with the back pad to fully isolate your triceps while you're pressing away from it. So really cool piece, man. Um, good ass session. Basically to run you guys back through it, uh, we warmed up on the machine, did machine flies. Uh, we knocked out, I think five sets of eight to about 12 reps just to kind of get the blood flowing. Um, then we worked our way into Smith Machine incline bench. Um, we went 12, 10, 8, and then two drop sets 
uh, one with 185, and then the final one with 135, just straight up until failure. Um, then we worked our way into flat dumbbell bench. Um, then we moved on to the Strive incline bench machine. And then we came back, finished off chest with high to low cable, cable flies. And then we moved into the little arm portion that we did, a uh, super set of preacher curls with dips, um, three sets of 10 and 10. And then we came up, we did single arm preacher curls on another Strive piece, um, two sets of 15 per arm. And then finished it off with the tricep extension machine, two sets of 15, and we out.